Problem solving. How to use multiplication for fraction division. Let's say we have three pizzas, and we cut each pizza into eighths. So each slice represents one eighth. How many slices do we have in all? Now let's write the equation. Three divided by one eighth. Let's draw a diagram to help us solve the problem. To find the total number of slices, we need to add them all up. 8 plus 8 plus 8. This is the same as multiplying 3 times 8, which is equal to 24. So to find the total number of slices in the three pizzas, we need to multiply the number of eighths in each pizza by the number of pizzas. As you can see, instead of 3 divided by 1 eighth, we have 3 times 8, which equals 24. Let's try another example. We have two pies and we split them up into six pieces each. We have to find out how many pieces we have in all. We need to solve two divided by one sixth. Let's use a diagram to help. As you can see from the diagram, we have six slices in each pie, which is the same as six plus six. So we have 12 slices. This is the same as 2 times 6. So instead of 2 divided by 1 sixth, now we have 2 times 6, which is equal to 12. Let's do another one. We have 3 pies, and we cut each pie into halves. How many slices do we have in all? We need to solve 3 divided by 1 half. Let's draw a diagram to help. As you can see from the diagram, we have two slices in each pie, which is the same as 2 plus 2 plus 2. We can rewrite that as 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. So 3 divided by half is the same as 3 times 2, which gives us 6. Let's do another one. We have four chocolate bars, and we divided them into thirds. How many pieces of chocolate bars do we have in all? We need to solve 4 divided by 1 third. Let's draw a diagram. Each chocolate bar has 3 pieces, so the total number of pieces is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is the same as 4 times 3, which gives us 12. So 4 divided by 1 third is the same as 4 times 3 which is 12. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.